We're at the Kinetic Research Group booth, and I'm talking with Justin Juarez about some of the new products that uh, you guys should be uh, aware of that are coming available or are available now. Let's start with what we have here in front of us, the Sodic Rifle. That's right, this is our Sodic Rifle. Uh, this is something that we uh, hope to be releasing later this year. Uh, and really the idea is to, to pair our Whiskey 3 chassis with uh, an action that's not something that's out there on the market. Yeah. So you can see that it's, it's a little bit different and it's kind of inspired by Saco TRG. And we took some of the features of the TRG and some features from the, from the AI uh, style of rifles. Kind of incorporated them uh, into one. Okay, so everything from um, the trigger to the action the chassis, that'll be all KRG, is that right? Exactly, yeah, the, the trigger is a two-stage trigger that, that uh, we've designed, and then and that's made to be compatible with the TRG and actually the Tika T3 as well. Oh, nice. So we plan to offer that for, for, for those platforms separately. Uh, there's, there's some development work to do yet on that, uh, but, but the idea is um, this is mainly our, our, uh, our design rifle. Okay, now the way the barrel interfaces with the action, um, is there anything that we should know about that? This is this is the what's becoming pretty standard now is the, the Savage style barrel nut, okay. uh, and we do that because we want the users to be able to you know change the barrels, of course. Gotcha. Um, we we change up a little bit on it because we use a, a TRG uh, barrel shank thread, and and then we'll offer the barrel kits with the nut for for TRG owners. Okay. Uh, it does take the Savage barrel nut, this act, or the barrel nut wrench rather. Uh, it, that's this pattern, and we'll have a little wrench made that so that you can pull the scope off and then pop the barrel out with actually having to pull the, the whole barrel action out of the chassis. Now, is it your intention that um, the the barrels would be available through Savage, or they could bring their own barrel to a gunsmith and, and have it done that way as well? We'll have we'll have some barrels available. Uh, that's the plan, and then. Uh, we'll make the, the barrel prints available so that you know anybody can get a blank and spin it up. It's pretty easy. You know, you just chamber it to a certain dimension and then and then thread on that that metric thread on there, and it's good to go. And plans for chambering from the factory, as far as the rifle, is it 308, 65 Creedmoor? Exactly. We'll start at 308, 65 Creedmoor, and then uh, hopefully at least add a six millimeter option. Okay. Uh, and then you know after that, then we'll see what happens. Very good. Um, has Obviously, it's not out yet, so I imagine you guys are working up uh, pricing on this. But anything you care to share on in that? Sure. Regard? Yeah, uh, the intro price will be under three thousand, just under three thousand. Okay. Uh, and you know, we'll have that for a certain period of time, which we're not really sure. It kind of depends on you know the production run stuff like that. Uh, after that, you know, we want to have set the retail price somewhere between three and four thousand. And and of course, there'll be a little bit of price difference because it's available with a fixed stock or the folding stock. So there'll be a few hundred dollars price difference between the two. Very good. All right, well, one of the things that um, we, I don't believe when we visited you before at SHOT Show, mm -hmm. we talked much about the Habu chassis. That's that, right. That's sort of the top end, is it not? That, it is, yeah. Let's take a look at that. So that's it right there. This is our, our uh, ultra premium chassis. Okay. Um, it's lightweight and full featured, and it was designed to be the absolute top of the heap chassis that's available. Uh, we start off with a uh, fiber, uh, excuse me, carbon fiber forend, and transition to this magnesium backbone here. Uh, the butt stock is magnesium as well, and then we have some titanium uh, hinge pieces, and our link to pull piece there is, is titanium. So it's it's very light. It's uh, you know about 3.6 pounds. Um, one of the lightest folding chassis that you can get, and then it's got all the toolless adjustments as well. So, yeah, and it is a right side uh, folder. And so this is machined out of billet titanium. Uh, is it, well, is some it some parts or? are billet titanium, and okay. then this this is actually magnesium. Or magnesium. Uh, yeah, and, and magnesium. Oh, magnesium. Yeah, got yeah, it. Yeah, got billet it. magnesium. Yeah. Wow, a lot of work went into this. It, it's a yeah, it's a lot of work. <laughs> they're they're more of a not a, like a full production item. They're yeah. more of a you know, you order and it's it's kind of a, a custom build, like a one-off kind gotcha. of build. You yeah. Know? What, what, is it, what kind of lead time are we you looking at? Uh, two, three months typically. Okay. Yeah. Gotcha. What's the pricing on this? Uh, Thirty-seven hundred retail. Okay. On those. Yeah. 
premium product. It is. Awesome. Now, the other when I browsed the booth, I also saw uh, a few accessories. Maybe we can kind of bring some of these in here. Sure. Yeah, so these are um, a couple of our new bag riders that we're working on, and, and uh, we should have these out, you know, before too long, really. Okay. Uh, and this is just, you know, a simple product, but really adds some functionality uh, that, that our, you know, our PRS shooters are looking for, and, and a lot of shooters are looking for, really. Okay. So this will just replace this short bag rider, and it'll sit right under there. Okay. Uh, this so it is, gives you a flat. flat. Exactly, long, yeah. flat surface. And this was kind of inspired by by our PRS guys and, and yeah. the F-Class guys. If you want to and then we a have, ramp type style. And we've got the, the angled version as well. Okay. Yeah. Have so. you uh, got pricing on these yet? Or when, uh, when would these be available? We don't. Um, probably within about two months after the show. We'll, okay. we'll see those. Pricing, pricing, you know, we'll try to, it'll be pretty reasonable on okay. those. It won't be too bad. Very good. But we don't have final pricing. Gotcha. Yeah. Is there anything else that, uh, we want to get the word out on? Well, you know, one thing I forgot to act, uh, mention about the action, it, it's a three lug action. Okay. So, um, so short throw? Short, exactly, short okay. throw, yep. Uh, and then the, and then the safety's up here on the shroud. Very nice. Uh, but other than that, um, we have some other stuff coming, nothing that's really ready to, to show. Okay. Uh, we have some, what we think is going to be some exciting stuff for the competitive shooters, uh, but nothing that's just quite ready right now but it'll be coming out later this year. Great. Justin, we really appreciate giving our audience an update for 2017 and wish you guys the best of luck. Well, thank you for stopping by. I appreciate Thanks. it.